Image sizing allows you to resize your photos and also change the resolution as you export them. If you leave it unchecked, then your photos will be exported with their original file size. If you want to make your photos smaller, or I guess even larger, then you can check that box and resize those images. The width and height option allows you to create kind of a container that your photos will fit inside of. Here I have it set to 1000 width by 1000 height. That doesn't mean that a rectangular photograph is going to be squished into a square. That just means that the longest edge of that photo is going to be 1000 pixels wide or tall. And then the other side will be proportionally smaller. There are a lot of other options in here as well. So you can play around with these settings just to kind of get a feel for what they do. I tend to keep mine set to width and height or either long edge or short edge. When I'm sharing online, I tend to set these numbers to 2000. You can also change that from pixels to either inches or centimeters if needed. By checking the don't enlarge box, you're ensuring that any images that you have that are smaller than that 2000 by 2000 pixel size that I've set or whatever you have set in these boxes, that they're not going to be enlarged to fit that size. So basically the image size for those images won't change. They will just export as their original file size. For resolution, you can set a number in here. 240 is very common for printing. I'm usually exporting to share to the web, so I usually change that to 72. And you can also change that setting from inches to centimeters. Thank <laughs> you.